To me, nothing is so consoling, so piercing, so thrilling as the Mass. A quote from St. Cardinal Newman. Today's question is, what is the introit? The Psalms were sung in procession in early Christian times, but in the 5th century, Pope Celestine has ordered that a whole psalm be sung while we enter to the altar. Let us make it truly magnificent. Thus, the introit, he enters, was sung while the procession approached the altar. Pope Gregory the Great himself arranged many of the introits as they began to be called. The introit should express the keynote and set the tone for the whole mass. I must keep that in mind. He took fragments from the Psalms and Old Testament prophecies. Since the introit will change with the feast and season, it can express joy or sorrow, hope or fear. In Advent, for example, longing for the Savior is expressed. Let the earth be opened and bud forth a Savior. And in Lent, sorrow. For the Lord became obedient unto death, even to the death on the cross. In Rome, during the early days of the church, the faithful would gather at one church. Today we shall go to the church of St. Cecilia and sing a psalm while proceeding through the streets to the station church, where the Pope offered the holy sacrifice. Certain masses in your missal are still marked Station at Blank, which names one of the Roman churches. In the 11th century, the old form of the introit was shortened. You mean that in a low mass, the introit will not be sung? Yes, yes, it will consist of an antiphon, one psalm verse, the glory be to the Father, the as it was in the beginning, and the antiphon again. Thus, the introit became the first movable part of the Mass. You say today's Mass is joyous, sister. How can you tell? Why, just read the introit in your missal. Rejoice, O Jerusalem, and come together, all that love her. But in spite of the shortened form, there is a way you can discover the full beauty of the introit. Look up the Mass for each Sunday, get the number of the psalm, then read the entire psalm. You'll see how it fits perfectly to the general theme of the Mass. This Catholic fact was brought to you by sdkason.com, the free Catholic image gallery. Until next time, God bless and stay holy.